From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening here on the evenings LA as massive stimulus checks for 2023 pass. And in this recording, we're going to go over why 2023 is the year in which you're going to celebrate 18 months of incredible checks. And these are checks for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Royal Benefits, on the incredible membership newsletter. These are stimulus checks right now, pass, law, SSI, SSDI stimulus checks, low income stimulus checks. Stimulus checks for Americans who make 75,000 or less across the board. We're gonna go over these incredible checks in tonight's reporting and what you need to know about these huge checks for 2023. They're stimulus checks A through Q and they're monthly. Get them right tonight. I'm gonna show you how to get them in this recording. It's gonna be a two year recession, my prediction, a 24 month recession. And you need to get these huge checks, which will be 18 months. How do you get them? We're going to go over all the details of these incredible checks. Again, you qualify. These are SSI and SSDI, Social Security, Rail Benefits, low income stimulus checks if you make 75000 or less, but we're not done there yet. We're going to turn also to unemployment stimulus in tonight's recording. It's a lot of money and it will be money for you if you become unemployed anytime in 2022 or potentially in 2023. Plus, we have brand new business stimulus tonight. It's the brand new stimulus check R. It's a big recording tonight. Plus, we'll go over what we saw in the markets. New year, new day. Down year, down day as well. It's a new year and a new era. We'll be going over what worked wrong in 2022 and what will work right in 2023. But here's where we are tonight. Massive stimulus is available right now. We're going to go over all that incredible stimulus in tonight's recording. It's these 2023 stimulus checks. Then we'll be going into the big news about this new stimulus check R. Then we'll be heading into the market recap today. Plus, we'll be looking at what you need to do to gauge accordingly for new year and new goals. New year and new goals. It's all here for you tonight. And my goal is for you to stay to the very end because we have a lot of money coming up in tonight's recording. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the toast was toasting this morning and the butter was buttering. And tonight, the stimulus is stimulating. We'll have all those details and more in a big recording tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Let's get to the major news. All starting right here, right now, on a big, bold, beautiful final trading day of the markets for 2022. It's evening to L8 edition starting right now. Good evening, everybody. Tonight we have a lot to go over. We're going to go over that incredible stimulus for you, those stimulus checks, the brand new stimulus checks, and also we're going to go over how to prepare for 2023, getting stimulus, raising your savings, removing your debt, and choosing bonds. But first, we're going to start with those incredible news of those 2023 stimulus checks. How are you? And thank you again for joining me on a big broadcast across the board on Evenings LA. 2023 stimulus checks are law. They've been passed. They're absolutely incredible. And they're going to be the most stimulus you've ever seen in the history of this channel. Why? Why is this? And how come you haven't heard about it before? 2023 is the combination of three years of stimulus checks. 2020 stimulus checks are still around. 2021 stimulus checks are not used up. And 2022 had a lot of stimulus checks. And in tonight's recording, we're going to learn why all those incredible checks it's over a half a billion dollars are available for you tonight. These are stimulus checks for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rail Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. And what's important when you watch tonight's recording is remember, Congress are not news organizations. Their job is not to make news or give you news or give you press releases or give you briefings on what they do. They just do it. It's your job to know about it. It's my job to report it, and tonight I'm going to report it for you, starting with these incredible 2023 stimulus checks. What are they? How are they? In this recording, we're going to go from stimulus check A through Q and the brand new stimulus check R, heating up tonight's broadcast across the board. Let's start with stimulus checks A, B, and C and understand where they came from, how you get them. These are incredible stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, Veterans benefits. These are huge stimulus checks. 
and they're absolutely incredible. Let's jump into all those incredible checks starting right now. Stimulus checks A, B, and C are just wonderful. They came from Joseph Biden. Joseph Biden passed the first three checks for 2023 for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, rural benefits, veterans benefits, low income. These are incredible stimulus checks from the federal government. $100,000 for Americans up to in these incredible three first checks, A, B, and C. And they are wonderful. Again, if you make $75,000 less single individual, go get them. If you make 150,000 married couple, go get them as well. They will pass for you, but we weren't done there yet. Because after that, the members of this channel got more checks. And those incredible checks for the Purple Power are stimulus checks E through K. Where did these checks come from? These incredible checks E through K, again, are federal stimulus checks from the federal government for Americans. For Americans and people who live in U.S. territories as well. Hundreds of checks, and these were passed by Congress. And they're absolutely incredible, bringing us to hundreds of checks. But we weren't done there yet because I found you other checks, L and M, N and O, P and Q. And last night I debuted yet another check on the channel, and that check is Stimulus Check R. It comes up late in this recording. It's a wonderful, wonderful check, and it is for businesses as well. Plus, we'll be going to unemployment stimulus checks in just a second. But let's first go into those first three stimulus checks for 2023. They're Stimulus Checks A through Q. They're monthly. They're law. Get them tonight. And let's go through each of those incredible stimulus checks A through Q starting right now. First, let's understand how many checks we're going to cover. We're going to cover $300,000 of stimulus checks, fast stimulus, 18 months, you need 18 months because it's going to be a two-year recession, I'm predicting, 24 months. And they're averaging about $3,000 a month, five checks per month. These are 2023 stimulus checks. They've been law since the month. Uh, they've been law for a while. And what's important to remember is that Congress is not here to tell you about what they do. It's my job to do it. And let's jump in those first three checks, A, B, and C. Check A, stimulus check A for 2023 is a beautiful $6,500 to $12,000 2023 stimulus check. Again, this is a stimulus check for anyone who's watching tonight that's an American who makes $75,000 or less or a married couple who makes $150,000 or less. This is for Americans, U.S. territories, or U.S. states. How do you get this incredible check? You go right on this video, become a member, join this channel, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. And go into that membership newsletter to get check A. We'll go over how to do that in just a second. Then you want to go get stimulus check B. It's a 2023 stimulus check and it's a lot of money. More importantly, it's a lot of months of money. It's averaging fifteen dollars to $80,000. But why is this 2023 stimulus check so helpful? Because I have been correctly predicting for a while there's going to be a recession next year. I was the first American broadcast to record it. And while there is a disagreement on how long the recession will be, the longest duration is my prediction, 24 months. I have 18 months of stimulus checks in stimulus check B on average to get you through 24 months of recession. If it's only a two-month recession, hey, that's still fine. You're getting 18 months of stimulus checks on average over two months of recession. But that's why you need a, a lots of checks for a two-year recession. And that's stimulus check B. You go right in this video, become a member, get that incredible stimulus check B, and boy, is it a lot of money. Here's what one viewer got. His name is Frank Mancuso. See that beautiful emoji behind his name? If you're in the live chat, jump in the live chat right now as a member, and you see that beautiful emoji as a member behind your name. It has that hawk black with a purple background. He joined this channel and in less than one month as a member, he got 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, and 18 months of high-speed internet, and that is check B. And folks, that's more than just five checks per month. That's lots of checks. That's thousands, tens of thousands of dollars over 18 months. That's how you want to do it, despite what the Federal Reserve does or any of those other people in the new year. But we're not done there yet. That's just check A, B, and C. Now let's go get some stimulus check C. Stimulus check C is beautiful, and it's for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. And how do I get stimulus check C? Go down in the membership newsletter, and at stimulus check C, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it at 12 different places. It's important you reach out to all 12 places because some will say yes, but some will say no. And it's a lot of money in this incredible check C. Let's look at those numbers in check C, and it's great. Here are some of the success stories for members with check C. $30,000 of rent. Do you want to get some 2023 stimulus checks for rent right now? Under the video, become a member and go right down to check C in the membership newsletter. 
Utilities. Do you want $15,000 for utilities for 2023 stimulus checks? Then become a member and go right now and get those incredible 2023 stimulus checks for utilities. And then what about combinations of checks? Let's look at those right now. Here's Nisi. She has gotten 23000 initially for those 2023 stimulus checks, but she grew it to 50000 And here's Mark. He was initially at $32,000 of those 2023 stimulus checks. And where did he grow it to? He grew it to 50000 then he went to 100,000, then he went to 166,000. And here's Lorraine, she was at 105,000, she went to 150,000 of those incredible check Cs. These are the first three checks of checks A, B, and C in these 2023 stimulus checks. We're gonna go all the way to stimulus check R in this recording. But let's pause for a second. Let's remember why this channel launched. In spring of 2020, the pandemic was underway and a friend of mine told me there was a $10,000 stimulus check. I said, excuse me, why was I not told this? I thought sort of like how you think. I expected to be told by Congress they had passed something called the EIDL grant. No one told me, why didn't you tell me I should be told this? That's not the role of Congress. They're not news organizations and they're not press agents. Their job is just to pass laws, not to tell you about the laws. So I launched this channel to tell Americans about EIDL grants and all the other stimulus that started in 2020. And even as I record a video almost every hour on the hour ever since for the last two years, I missed stimulus checks in 2020. And guess what? They're just brand new tonight. Their stimulus checks are and they're coming up late in this recording. So what's important to know is that no one has an obligation to tell you that these are law. It's your job to learn about them. And the reason why 2023 is the best year ever for stimulus checks for you is because 2020 stimulus checks are still around, 2021 stimulus checks are still around, and 2022 stimulus checks are still around, and the collective calculation summation of those three years is over a half a billion dollars. This is why 2023 is a great year across the board. That stimulus checks A, B, and C. Largest payout on this channel? Dragon got 170000 Johnny helped 20 friends and neighbors get a quarter of a million dollars. I'm going to show you more about those big success stories in a second, but let's continue. Now let's go to stimulus checks E through K. These incredible stimulus checks E through K are all in the membership newsletter. Stimulus check E is a beautiful $7,500 stimulus check. You didn't know about it? Tonight you're learning about it. It's down in the membership newsletter. I'm going to show you how to get in just a second. Stimulus check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Stimulus check G, 30% off. And then stimulus check H, a $2,000 stimulus check. Love it. Stimulus check I is a beautiful $8,000 stimulus check. Now, these are stimulus checks passed in 2022. Didn't hear about them before? You're hearing them tonight. It's, again, not the obligation of Congress to tell you what they pass. It's just for them to pass legislation. Stimulus check J, $8,000. And stimulus check K, $14,000. So there you go. A to C, stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, stimulus checks, SSA, stimulus checks, RB, stimulus checks, VA, stimulus checks, low income, anyone who makes $75,000 or less, stimulus checks, married couple, $150,000, stimulus checks, go get them. And that is A through, where are we right so far? K, President and Congress. But guess what? I found you more stimulus checks thereafter. And those incredible stimulus checks are coming up in just a second, but let's go right into that membership newsletter. So what is the membership newsletter? Go right into this video and subscribe, then like the video, and also make sure you subscribe to all three channels, LA1 and num number two and number three, and then go right into that membership newsletter. How do you become a member? Go right on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. And in the membership newsletter, there is dozens and dozens of stimulus checks waiting for you to go get, and I do all the work for you. It's at news.lalate.com forward slash newsletter. We originally had a newsletter delivered via YouTube Alerts. It's still live, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But I thought, let me do this even better for 2023. And boy, has it been a blockbuster. I cannot understate how big this has been. The website version of the newsletter is loved by members left and right because it's so simple. It's just a website. The, the website address is on the screen, but even easier, it's in the description of this video and in the pinned comment and also at the top of the chat. 
click the button that sends you right into the newsletter as a member. That means you can watch this video right now and go right into the newsletter as a member, meaning you don't have to wait to apply for stimulus. You can become a member right now and go right into that incredible newsletter and get those incredible stimulus checks. The password to the password protected newsletter is on the channel that you are a member to every minute, every hour, updated around the clock. Get these incredible 2023 stimulus checks A through Q, but wait a second, we haven't gotten to Q. Yeah, we'll go into those in just a second. You're gonna need them because it'll be a two-year recession and we got on average 24 months of a recession and 18 months of stimulus checks for you across the board. Wow, let's now go back into those incredible stimulus checks. So we've done A through C of stimulus checks for 2023. These are for you. Then Congress did E through K. We went over through those. They're all in the membership newsletter. And then I found you other 2023 stimulus checks. And let's go over them right now. They are stimulus starting with stimulus check L and bringing us to the all brand new stimulus R tonight. Stimulus L is a brand new, is a wonderful $100,000 on average loan is free grant, loan is free um, grant. And then M is a $4,000 grant. Stimulus N, I love it. It's a brand new tablet computer, a laptop, and free internet from the government. Wait a second. They're giving away free computers. Why didn't they tell me about this? Again, the same thing we've always said. Why don't they tell us? They have no obligation to tell you. Their obligation is to pass laws. They're not a press agency. They're not a news channel. Their job is to do laws and for people to find out themselves. You don't have to find out yourself because I'm here for you. Let's go to that incredible Stimulus N. So in that membership newsletter, you go down to Stimulus N, get a brand new tablet, computer, a laptop, free internet. I mean, that is incredible. It's my favorite stimulus in the membership newsletter. Stimulus check O is zero down payment, zero closing costs for a brand new mortgage. Wow. And then Stimulus P and Q. P is 3% down for a refi, and Q is a gorgeous $8,000 stimulus check. Largest stimulus check so far in stimulus checks A through Q for 2023. $100,000. Smallest stimulus check so far in these 2023 stimulus checks is $8,000. Fastest routing time for these 2023 stimulus checks for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, low income, anyone who makes $75,000 less. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday. By Wednesday, he had $45,000. By Friday, he had 15 applications in, half rejected, Half approved, eighty thousand. He helped a mom and dad the next week at each fifty thousand, and then helped twenty friends and neighbors get a quarter million dollars. So, what do we have in these A through Q stimulus checks? You have monthly stimulus checks. You have stimulus checks for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance. You have stimulus checks for home repairs and home appliances, the computer, the car, the internet. It's just a lot of incredible, incredible stimulus checks. Again, all at news.la.com forward slash newsletter. These are just wonderful. These incredible checks are now average monthly and on average about 18 months of stimulus checks. That works because a 24-month recession needs as many months of stimulus checks as you can get. And on average, they are monthly, and there's lots of months. And how much of you is getting on average? Again, these are for you if you make 75000 or less a single individual. How much are people getting on average for these incredible 2023 stimulus checks? They're getting on average 18 months, $3,000 a month, five checks per month. Go get them right tonight. Do not wait. Get those incredible stimulus checks in the membership newsletter. Join this channel. Join LA1 or LA2 or LA3. Subscribe to all three channels. It's totally free to subscribe. And with that, pounce and get all these incredible stimulus checks A through Q. Now, you notice I'm stopping at Q. Well, what happened to stimulus check R? Well, that's the breaking news that started last night. Stimulus check R was totally missed by me, totally missed by you, and boy, who missed 260000 <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, did you miss the 260000 sitting on the table? Yeah, there's a quarter million dollars sitting on the table, and we missed it. <laughs> unreal. It really is unreal. So here's this guy wearing a blue shirt with these real flowers behind him. He makes recordings all the time, and he missed a stimulus item that has a potential of even half a million dollars, even more. How did I miss it? Again, Congress doesn't tell us when they pass these laws. It's not their obligation to tell us. They just pass laws and then they have $12 ice cream. They just pass laws and that's it. It's our job to learn about them. It's my job to find them and my job to record them for you. And even this one, stimulus check R, 
I never heard of until last night when it debuted on this channel. Now, stimulus check R is critical. Why? Number one, it's for events that happened in 2019 and giving you money, giving you money for what you did in 2020 during the pandemic and giving to you in 2023. Yeah, you see this? See how 2023 is rolling out here? 2023 is all about what happened in 2020, 2021, and 2022. It's all lots of stimulus for you. Stimulus check R is just absolutely incredible. Moreover, I never heard about it. I never, ever heard about it till yesterday. And of course, I probably had the same reaction as you. Why didn't they tell me? I mean, they should tell me, and, and so I can tell other people. They didn't tell me. I never heard of it. Until I mistakenly found it sitting around somewhere in a commercial, I said, am I hearing this right? This is ridiculous sums of money. And I absolutely heard it right. And it got more clarity in 2021 when Treasury came out and said, let me explain this a little bit more to you. So what is stimulus R? If you are one of my original viewers for PPP, for EIDL, grant or loan, or anything else like that, listen up right now because this is your big exciting night. Stimulus Check R is wonderful, and it's in the membership newsletter. It debuted last yesterday when it debuted on this channel, and it's called the Employee Retention Credit. If 10 people are at issue, this is a quarter million dollars for you. Wow. If it's 20 people at issue, it's a half a million dollars for you. I mean, folks, this, these numbers are insane. They are absolutely out of control. Now, what makes this more fascinating is that this is all about 2019 paying you in 2023. How does this work? It's for an employer who had employees in 2019. And when the pandemic hit in 2020, what do they do? They kept the employee on staff. They did not fire the employee. And they will be paid from the federal government $5,000 per employee that they kept in 2020 and did not fire from 2019. It gets better. As the pandemic got worse by 2021, what did the employer do? If the employer still kept that 2019 employee on staff, then that employer will get $7,000 per quarter per employee for up to three quarters of 2021. Yeah, are you seeing these insane numbers? That's $26,000 per person you kept on staff that you did not fire from 2019 to the third quarter of 2021, if it's one person, it's 26,000. If it's 10 people, it's 260,000. If it's 20 people, it's a quarter, it's a half a million dollars. I can't even say it right. It's just insane amount of money. It's small business stimulus checks, grants, we have never seen before. This is not SSI. This is people like EIDL grants and PPP people. This is absolutely incredible. How do you learn about this great employee retention credit, Stimulus Check R? It's in the membership newsletter down at Stimulus Check R. Now, in 2023, we will also have other types of stimulus checks for 2023, and they are, in addition to, you, the stimulus checks A through Q and stimulus check R we just went over in 2023, we will also have still unemployment stimulus and PEBT stimulus. Let's go over the details of both of those right now. PBT stimulus is a little bit like stimulus check R. It's for what you endured in 2019, 2020. So households that are on uh, free meals or discounted meals and endure the pandemic, they're seeing P more PBT checks coming in the mail. In the case of Arizona, $391 check. It's a PBT stimulus check, and it's going to heat up more coverage on this channel as I ramp up coverage of that come January 2023. The unemployment stimulus viewers are absolutely adoring because no one explains this to anyone, and I know why. Because I recorded this in 2020. It's one of those subject matters, unemployment stimulus, that is so bizarre and so unnatural that if you never claimed unemployment nor ever knew that you had to claim unemployment, when you first hear it, you say, really? I can get all this money and I can still have a job? Let me go over the details of it right tonight. And it starts our continuation coverage of those 2023 stimulus checks. In this example, we're going to talk about the following type of person. A W-2 employee who was working at a job until October 1st when the boss walked up to her and said, ma'am, you're fired as a W-2 employee on October 1st. She was very depressed. She had no money in October 2022, no money in November 2022. She had no job. December 2022, she had no job either. 
but she got lucky come January 2023. She found a new job. And then she found this channel. And then what happened? She never knew that she can get unemployment stimulus checks in January 2023 for her weeks that she was unemployed in October, November, and December 2022. See, no one explains this to anyone. I learned this in 2020, and it's back on this channel, and people are loving it. And I'm loving that you like the assistance on the subject matter. Let me go over the details of this right now. Unemployment stimulus checks are for people who are unemployed, fired because of a uh, fired by their boss in a W-2 environment. You can get unemployment stimulus even if you're later employed at another job. So let's go over the details of this very slowly. If you were working as a W-2 employee in, in September 2022, and then October 1st, your boss walked up to you in 2022, said, ma'am, you're fired, and you were unemployed all the month of October 2022, all the month of November 2022, and all the month of December 2022, you were unemployed for three months, and you find this channel, let's say, months later, in February 2023, can you still get those unemployment checks from October, November, and December? Yes. Can you still get those unemployment checks from October, November, December, even if you find a brand new job in 2023 that's a W-2? Yes, you can. The reason is because you were unemployed in October, November, and December, and that is, those are the weeks that you're getting unemployment checks, and you're entitled to them, and you will be paid them, even if you later get a job months later or a year later. Let's go over the details of this right now, how you do it. Step one is you go to your state's Department of Unemployment. Many states call it something different. I prefer you to go to the website. It's the easiest way to do it. Then you have to establish a claim. If you never do this in 2020, it's very, very unnatural. I know it's very unnatural. I made the recordings in 2020. And people who had never claimed unemployment it just seems so strange because even the questions they ask are strange. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do this. Step one of the unemployment claim process is to file the claim. And on step one, they ask you three questions. The first question is, what date were you fired or terminated as a W-2 employee? In this example, the boss walked up to you October 1st. So the answer is October 1st, 2022. The answer is not February 2023. That's not when the boss fired you, so don't mess it up. Next, it's going to ask you two simple questions whose answers must be yes. First, are you willing to work? Of course I am, yes. Second, are you able to work? Of course I am. Answer yes. I know these are very unnatural, sort of almost like they're trick questions. The answers are very simple. Physical and mental attributes are required for a yes answer. You're applying. Your claim is approved. Your claim is approved. But here's where it becomes unnatural again. In 2020, if you had said, I got claim approved for unemployment, why do I have no money? Uh, because you didn't ask for any money. <laughs> but I got a claim filed. No, that's not the way unemployment works. After you do step one and get the claim approved, then you have to ask for a stimulus check for unemployment for each week you were unemployed. Oh, so I get the claim approved and then I have to ask a check each week one at a time. Absolutely. And these are the weeks you're unemployed, not the weeks you were employed. So in this example, you were unemployed all the month of October, all the month of November, and all the month of December. Can you ask for the October, November, December checks later on, even though you finally get employed weeks later, months later? Absolutely. That's the law. So if you're filing this unemployment claim in March of 2023 for what happened in October, November, December when you were unemployed, that's absolutely the way you do it. That's absolutely correct. So the step two is certifying for benefits. Again, a very unnatural expression. What does this mean? It means I want money. <laughs> it means I want money. It'll start with the first week you're unemployed, which in this example is the week of October 1st. Done. Then it'll do the next week. Done. And it'll bring it all the way up to the present couple things for you to know. Number one, can you do it too soon? Yes. The website will tell you you're too soon. It'll tell you when to come back. Pretty easy. Then, can you be too late? Generally not. You can't be too late. Finally, if I stop midway in the middle of a week, we'll pick up where I left off. Absolutely. It'll tell you the week was not finished. Please finish it now. And you can't do the weeks out of order. So do the first week, the second week, and the third week. There you go. 2023, a big, great year for stimulus. We have stimulus checks a through Q. Lots of wonderful stimulus checks for you, SSI, 
Stimulus checks for you, SSDI. Stimulus checks for you, SSA. Stimulus checks for you, RB. Stimulus checks for you, VA. Stimulus checks for you, low income. These are American stimulus checks. Any American U.S. state or American U.S. territory, go right on this video, become a member, and go right into that membership newsletter and start applying for those checks A through Q. If you're an employer and was watching this channel back in 2020, welcome back, and you got an EIDL grant or EIDL loan, so go right in that membership newsletter and go right down to Stimulus Check R right tonight. Do not wait. Immediately reach out to that, um, to that tax preparer you use because Stimulus Check R is a lot of money and it needs to be done the right way. Again, it's up to $26,000 per employee you had. 2019 and retained all the way to 2021 in some cases. And boy, if you had 10 employees, folks, this is an insane amount of 2023 stimulus. And then unemployment stimulus. Unemployment stimulus is a lot of money. And if you're unemployed for a lot of weeks, it's important to get it. Moreover, if you're fearful that you're going to lose your job in 2023, don't worry because now you found LA. Now you've learned how to do unemployment stimulus, or you can teach your friends and neighbor how to do unemployment stimulus. There was no one out there teaching people how to do this in 2020 until I came along. And it's it's very bizarre when you first do it unless someone really takes you through the steps like we do here in this incredible family. In the big second half, we're going to continue over to the breaking news of the markets. The markets ended the last trading day of the new year. And guess what happened? We are down. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just so sort of predictable. The markets were down, but more importantly, I have a lot to teach you in the big second half, stuff that's brand new since evening on, since even evenings. We're going to go over a lot of breaking news for 2023, and we're going to look at what you need to know uh, that we learned from today and certainly from this year. In the market recap in today's in tonight's evenings LA, we're going to look at why there was a market rally initially that fell apart by the end of the day. The Dow ended down in a year that was down. The new year, new data. We're getting new data just in a few days. Early next week, it's critical data. We got new data tonight from the Purchasing Manager Index. What did that say? All the latest details on that tonight across the board. Plus, we will go over tonight in this recording what it means to do things right and what it means to do things wrong. It's critical across the board. And in this recording, we'll go over a little bit of those details, what you need to know, and we'll look at some of these elements at issue. Next, we'll be looking at the importance of doing things right in the new year, and we'll be understanding why we ended down and why the manufacturing index showed that we grew today. Confusing? Things are done wrong in 2022 elsewhere. Maybe not by you, but elsewhere. And those people will still be doing things wrong in 2023. I'll explain to you why. We'll go over the wrong things of 2022 that were told to you elsewhere, not from my mouth, Fed pivot, stock YouTubers, crypto YouTubers, them dippers. What does that mean? I'll have the latest details across the board. We'll look at that purchasing manager index. And guess what? In tonight's recording, I'm going to show you why 2023 will all be about choosing bonds. Yes, very exciting. Plus, new year and new goals heats up the big second half. It's a big night, and it's getting very exciting. Are you very excited? I am as well. We'll be back with you in 60 seconds as America's most favorite show at prime time for financial news continues. See you back in 60 seconds with all the breaking news on Evening's LA continues in a beautiful night from the shores of San Marco, California, as we count our minutes down to Mitch Ball 2022. Mike. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily.
and then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in the big second half as we celebrate New Year's Eve Eve. <laughs> My most unfavorite expression. New Year's Eve Eve. Yeah, next year it'll be New Year's Eve Eve Eve. It's just it's got expression for everything. In tonight's recording, we go over why the market ended down after it had initial rally earlier today and then turned dramatically down by the end of the day. New year, new data. We'll help count the minutes down as we're going to get brand new data early next week. What is it? It's critical data. Purchasing Manager Index was released today, and what did it say? Oh, quite fascinating across the board. Wrong for 2022 and still wrong in 2023. We'll go over what was wrongly said in 2022. There was a lot of wrong out there. The bull rally, that wasn't true. The Fed pivot wasn't true. The stock YouTubers were wrong. The crypto YouTubers were all wrong. Them dippers were hideously wrong. Plus, in the big second half, we have a lot of other exciting details as how to choose bonds as your next approach for 2023. Remember, 2023 will have massive stimulus, massive stimulus, and it's the combination of three years of stimulus. That's so important because it's past now and it's live now. Go around this video, become a member, and welcome to the nearly 100 new members who joined the channel one, channel two, and channel three in the last 48 hours. The markets had a fascinating day across the board. Today, of course, was the last trading day of the markets for 2022. And it started off, there was a nice rally initially, but it fell apart very quickly. There was no, in, no inherent news that caused the markets to turn south, unlike prior months or prior weeks. It was just not a very robust market. The market understood we needed a Santa Claus rally in December, where we go up. We did not get it. And they understand that January is always down with a Santa Claus rally. Now we're down in December, and we're also going down in January. And it's not particularly a good situation across the board. Some stocks really took a big hit later in the year based upon people buying into those false narratives, like the Fed pivot. The good news is that we have a new year of new data, and just a few days from now, we'll have brand new data, and it starts January 6th. Financial markets are closed Monday. I will be open. I'll be recording all weekend long for New Year's Eve. I will be recording with you. But here's what you need to know is that the Purchasing Managers Index was released today, and it's a fascinating number. Remember, you want to see manufacturing grow to see the economy grow. If you see it shrinking, it means the economy is shrinking. The way this number works is anything above a 50 is growing, like a 51 is growing, 52 is growing. Anything under 50, like a 40, is shrinking. So where was this Purchasing Manufacturers Index, that's a tongue twister, from Chicago, say today? It was released for the month of November at a horrible 37. Yeah, that wasn't good. Then December was released today. Wall Street was looking for a 44 excuse me, for a 41, it came in at a 45. So it's still shrinking, but not shrinking as much as last month and not shrinking as bad as Wall Street thought. New year, new data. January 6th, we get the non-farm payroll. This is big because the market will be looking to see whether more jobs are created and more importantly, what's going on with that unemployment rate. Now, let me tell you how this is gonna work. 2023 is gonna be the good news, bad news days where you hear news that looks good and then some people say it's bad news. Here's an example of what happens on January 6th. If the unemployment rate is worse, then people say that's good news. The Federal Reserve will stop raising rates sooner than said. If the unemployment rate is lower, meaning it's better, then people say that's bad news because the Federal Reserve come in as aggressively as they are with those interest rate spikes. It's going to be a confusing 2023 across the board. One of the things I want you to stop doing in 2023, I promise myself as one of my New Year's resolutions, is stop talking about Tesla. Tesla is just one stock, and one stock is not indicative of the entire market. It's important to understand what the markets are doing and not just focus on one as the benchmark for the entire situation. New Year, near data. And that New Year data is, of course, on January 6th with that massive unemployment number it would come in and it will either be a higher or lower again if it's higher it's 
good for saying the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates. If it's lower, it means the Federal Reserve is going to keep on raising rates. Purchasing managers index today was not particularly uh, exciting because it showed the economy was shrinking. Bond yields were higher today as the 10-year bond rose over 3.864, while the two-year Treasury bond rose as well. In 2022, we were told a lot of wrong stuff, not by me, but elsewhere. What were we told wrong in 2022? The Fed pivot, stock YouTubers, crypto YouTubers, and dippers. And guess what? They're going to say the wrong stuff in 2023. So promise yourself this for your New Year's resolution. Stop saying or listening to anyone who mentions a Fed pivot. Stop watching stock YouTubers that do not return any investment on their advice. And stop watching crypto YouTubers who start the night with a recording that says you're going to make money and you end the night with you losing money. And finally, stop the watching of those dippers. Let's go over the details of that right now. 2023 is going to be far more worse than 2022 because why? It's the recession. Everyone in the sister and brother now agree with me. In February this year, I said the U.S. economy would suffer recession starting in January 2023. The difference is that some people believe it's going to be a two-month recession. I say it's going to be a two-year recession. What do you say? Jump on the live here, chat. Do you say it's two-month or two-year? Next, we all agree we're going to know by about February 2023 if it's two-month or two-year recession. But here's the problem. Here is the problem. All that wrong stuff that was said in 2022 is going to be repeated by the same wrong people in 2023. Number one, Fed pivot. Even today, even this, even the last hour, I saw more people on broadcast news talking about a Fed pivot. There is no Fed pivot until the Federal Reserve says it. What's a Fed pivot? It's basically a fancier way of saying the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising interest rates to battle inflation. You were told this all last year. How many times did they tell you there was going to be a Fed pivot? And every single time they said it, it was laughable when they did. Why? The Federal Reserve is not a bunch of nobodies. These are people who are established under the federal government to establish our monetary policy. And their job is to give you guidance ahead of time from what they do. They're not just talking because they want to talk. They're actually giving you guidance. So when they said they're going to raise rates for this, 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 until we get inflation to 2%, and you're not at 2% inflation, do not believe the Federal Reserve is going to change their mind or that they're telling you a half-truth. That's what they said. That was their guidance. Don't fight the Fed. But for 2023, I got to tell you, the same people who said Fed pivot in 2022 will say it again in 2023. Next, stock YouTubers. How many stock YouTubers told you to buy this stock, buy that stock, that you're going to get rich, you're going to get really rich. The only people that got rich were them, and they had no accountability for the loss of valuation of your investment. Even worse, crypto YouTubers. Crypto YouTubers told you buy this bizarre coin you had never heard of, as though they had found some diamond in a rough only they knew. And what happened by the end of the year? The investment was gone. It was worthless. And finally, the dippers, the dippers, a phenomenon I only saw really take off during the pandemic. I call them the dippers. These are people we used to call them market timers. They think only them can determine when the market's at the bottom and that all the rest of us are wrong. Dangerous. Becoming a market timer requires decades of training. It's very, very difficult. Ultimately, if you're going down, don't try to time the market. You, there's a lot of other people trying to do the same thing, and you're likely to not get it right. So don't try to time the market. For 2023, one, turn off those stock YouTubers who told you to buy stocks, and the stocks are down 50% a year later. Number two, turn off those crypto YouTubers who told you to buy these coins no one had ever heard of, act like they had found some diamond in the rough, it's always the same thing, and that's... Coin went from a $10 valuation to a $0 valuation. Your investment was gone. Stock YouTubers, they lost 50% of your investment. You, crypto YouTubers lost 100% of your investment. And that's on. it's not just on YouTube. We have all those people that appear on broadcast media like Kathy Wood. They told you to do this and do that and do this and do that where her ETF was down half of its value in one year. Let's look at some of the numbers tonight because this is where the data sits. 
The data sets in these yearly numbers released minutes ago, early this morning. The Dow ends this year down 8.58%. Ouch. It's up this current quarter. It's down this month at December 4%. Let's go over to S&P. Worst story. S&P is down 19.24% for the 2022 year. It's up this quarter, but it's down this month about five, about 6%. And here comes the tech-heavy tech NASDAQ. Get ready for a nosebleed. The tech-heavy NASDAQ for the year-to-date is down 33% of its value. That's not good, folks. 33% of your investment is gone. Now, imagine crypto. 100% of your investment is gone. In some cases, some coins. What about the stock you took? In some cases, 50% or more is gone. And here is uh, the NASDAQ for the, for the month. It's down at 9% as well. If you end 2022 and you look back and you say, well, if I had just put it on the sofa, it would be still there. Absolutely. If you had not given $10 to put into the stock recommended by that stock YouTuber that ended the year $5, you would still have $10. If you had not put $10 to that crypto coin, that bizarre coin that has a strange name and maybe has Elon on the title, they all had the Elon on the title. Didn't you notice that for, for 2022? Or the name of a cat or a dog or a llama. If you had not put $10 to that crypto coin that became zero, you would still have the $10. Who told you this first? I did. In spring of 2022, I said, do not buy coins. Do not buy real estate. Do not buy stocks across the board because they will become devalued in 2022. What am I recording tonight as I start 2023 with you as well? Don't do it either. Do not buy stocks. Do not buy crypto. Do not buy real estate for at least the first quarter, two quarters of 2023. Why? There's only two possibilities at the moment, a two-year recession or a two-month recession. Yeah, there's some people who try to hedge and put it in between, but that's sort of uh, mushy-gushy. It's either two-month recession or two-year recession. Two-month recession means January, February. Mm, so don't buy buying stuff in January because it's going to be worth less in February. If it's a two-year recession, you <laughs> really don't buy it at all in 2023. By February this year, of next year, we will know where this market is. So here's a couple things for 2023 and how to prepare not only with stimulus checks, but also with your money. New year, new goals. First, don't throw money around unless it has a purpose. Is this something you're putting your money into that you know you're going to get it back at, at 100%? Or is it a risky investment? People embraced way too much risk in 2022. Why? As Jamie Dimon said, they had way too much savings saved up because of the pandemic. They just threw money left and right. And I got to tell you, I can't know how many people, I wonder if they look back on 2222 and they say, I wish I had not thrown the money around like that. And I don't mean buying airfares. Oh, you can't even see my eyes. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Let's go to this graphic. There we go. Choose bonds. Choose bonds. In 2023, the safest way if you really want to invest in anything is a short-term maturity, less than three months, high-yield corporate bond. High-yield corporate bonds, which are not available to all mom and pops, uh, not all walks of life. High-yield corporate bonds are safe, and as interest rates go higher, they'll have higher value throughout those first few months of 2023. Now, if you can't buy a corporate bond, then what can you buy? You can buy a bo corporate bond index. Same thing across the board. Why are they safe? Because the value is going to be there. won't go away. Why are they safe for short-term maturity? Because we all know the Federal Reserve has to raise rates at least two more times, at least. So you know the bond value will go up at least for the next 60 days. After that, we really don't know. So short-term maturity is something you get out quickly, you don't have to stay in across the board. Now, here's what's also important to know, is that when you're looking at these short-term bond ut utility uh, uh, returns, this is for people who really need an 8% return. If you don't need an 8% return and you're happy with a 0% return or just a money market return, because money market is 100% guaranteed, it's federally backed, put it in a money market for your 3 or 4%. Yeah, if you really don't need to go from 4% to 8%, just put it in the money market, just put it away. And certainly, you can choose a certificate of deposit across the board. Now, come that third or fourth month, we'll certainly know what's going on. And this is where it gets very interesting. Two possibilities. 
if the Federal Reserve stops their interest rate spikes by that third month, approximately of 2023, then you want to get out of the bond right away. You want to get out of the bond because the bond will have less value. That means the Federal Reserve is no longer spiking. The bond will drop in value. The Federal Reserve will give you guidance before they do it. You know how they do it. You know, Loretta Messer or any of the other governors come out and say, you know what, uh, maybe we need to reassess our interest rate spikes. They'll give you those guidance, those, those key words, so you'll listen for them around February or March. That'll give you guidance to maybe get out of the corporate bond. If we see that inflation has still not gone away by March, you obviously stay in the corporate bond because the corporate bond will have more value. This, again, is for persons who need an 8% return on money or a 6 or 7%. Again, you could do some corporate bond yields. If you don't need a return on your money that high, just leave it in your money market at your local bank and get your 3 or 4%. It's that easy. Do not fight the Federal Reserve in 2023. Why? Because in 2023, we're looking back on a history of the markets, and some people just seemingly forgotten what we've done. Initially, over 10 years ago, people started buying stocks because their bond yields fell down. As the Federal Reserve lowered rates over the prior decade, what happened? Bond yields became no longer attractive. You couldn't put your money in bonds because the Federal Reserve made bonds no longer attractive. They didn't have good yields. So you started buying stocks like tech stocks or blue chips or aerospace. Now, the Federal Reserve is doing the reverse. The Federal Reserve is raising rates, making the bonds more attractive and the stocks less attractive. Don't fight the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is your friend. And ultimately, anyone who tries to time the market, fight the Federal Reserve, or try to invent something as though it's a needle in a haystack, they're just going to get the needle. <laughs> well, they're going to get the haystack and not the needle, I should say. That is how you want to pivot away from all the wrong of 2022. Pivot away from the Fed pivot. You'll get guidance from the Federal Reserve when a Fed pivot's coming, because it ain't coming anytime soon. Pivot away from the stock YouTubers who told you to buy crazy stocks, and the valuation disappeared by the end of the year, and they never took accountability for what they said. Pivot away from those crypto YouTubers who made all those crazy recordings about crazy coins that said they're going to make millions and millions of dollars, and you never made them. And pivot away from those people who say, dip. If something goes from 100 to 90 to 80 to 70 to 40 to 20, that's not a dip. That's a crash. 2020 year two is going to be a great, was a, uh, was a great year for stimulus, but 2023 is going to be an even better year for stimulus. Why? Because of the combination of all these three years of stimulus checks. It's a combination of stimulus checks from 2020, 2021, and 2022. Stimulus checks for SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and we're all bad, but stimulus checks for unemployment, stimulus checks for PBT, small business stimulus checks, huge stimulus checks across the board. Go around this video, become a member, and get all those incredible stimulus checks tonight. Again, on average, 18 months, 3,000 a month, five checks per month, fast stimulus, and it is really needed at 18 months when you're going to have a potential two-year recession. From the shores of San Marco, California, God bless. I'll see you tomorrow. Will the Mitch Ball return for New Year's Eve? Well, for now, Happy New Year's Eve, Eve, as they say it, for the shores of San Marco, California. God bless. Stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful night. And as always, thank you for making this your home and make sure you become a member. Stay informed, stay focused. Do it right for 2023 and keep on doing what you do so well as a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. God bless. Stay informed, stay focused and have a gorgeous night on New Year's Eve, Eve, Eve. Stay informed, stay focused and stay safe this beautiful New Year's Eve weekend, of which I will be with you each day.